Hey guys, thanks for stopping by the channel. Um, it's finally the day. The day's here. I know I've been talking about it, bro. It's been it's been like a long minute. Uh, I've been waiting on this to finally come in. Uh, the stack's here, and I'm actually super excited to uh, share it with you guys. Um, you know, wow. I start a video and somebody wants to drive by. That's crazy, bro. Ain't been no traffic on this damn road all day. Okay, but but let's get to it, boys. Let's let, let me let me let me go get the stack. You stay right there. Don't fucking click off this video. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. A lot of y'all gonna be like, what the fuck, Casey? What are you doing right now, bro? But okay. Um so it's a four inch inlet at the bottom pipe over here. If you don't know how stacks work, and then here is my uh it's like 13 inches right here, and then 10 inches this way. Uh it was supposed to be um it was supposed to be an 80 inch stack, um, but the guy obviously fucked up the measurements because now it's like a 12 inch stack. Um, when I do the math on Google, because I've been out of I've been out of high school for a minute, so doing math is a little rough. Just kidding. Uh, it actually comes out to like 11.75, uh, like a round estimate. So I, I basically have like a fucking 12 inch stack now, um, and I wanted an eight because you know the blue truck has an eight inch stack, and that sounded nice. So. <clears throat> You know, if you watched the other video, we ran the uh, the fucking the the uh, hydro dip five inch. That was super black. I'm actually I'm gonna miss that because uh, people that'd be like, wait, your whole truck is blacked out. You know, and I know I'm still working on the process of blocking everything out, but they're like, and you have this hydro dip stack. I don't understand. And I was like, because it's funny. Like, how is that not funny to you? Uh, it was super funny to me. Um, so yeah. Uh, so now. Now that I've been waiting, I have to install this bitch, and uh, I'm not really going to try to make like a how-to install video. Uh, basically, all you do is you just kind of cut a hole in your bed, wherever the hell you want it, or in your hood if you're doing a hood stack, and you run that some bitch. You get you some flex pipe, maybe some 90s. You just get you some exhaust. I just have that big old piece of flex pipe Young Sam brought me, so I'm gonna see if I can run that thing up in there. Um, I'll include the pictures of when I first got the stack because I got it earlier this week, but you know, with work and stuff, and I don't get off to like. Shit, it's, it's damn dark time by the time I get off and I got, I got shit I got to do. But yeah, I'm super excited, guys. Uh, thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, if I didn't say that in the first place, but I'm sure I did because I usually do. I uh, hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, I just want to say also think, always think positive thoughts, you know. Um, I've been going through a lot of shit lately and um, just think positive. There we go. So now I'm going to see if I can get this bitch in the hole and I'll be right back. And I have to go get a ladder to get up in the back of my truck because I keep tearing on my jeans. Um, being all flexible and stuff so i'll be right back boys okay so we running mock-ups right now i think that doesn't look too bad i think it looks nice so you need to take that shit out the windows bro that banks power and the uh, eod thing that's an eod symbol uh bro all i gotta say is like let let the hate comments or somebody say something dumb bro like that damn meme it's like you goddamn fucker you piece of shit why would you do this to this truck you you fucker like piss out of here bro damn oh yeah and uh i guess the company or the dude who makes these he runs by the name of octagon uh but if you tell him you want an eight inch stack you make sure you tell him you want an eight inch hole uh because he measured the uh the sides I get my finger in the camera the side each side is eight inches but once you like like you start changing the angles up the shit starts getting a little bit longer um and this was 245 i think roughly which with shipping uh and the other company i was going to go with they was like it was like 450 uh before even shipping i was like, I was like damn bro you must be putting some fucking gold on them things or a bit yeah and there's a piece of flex pipe that I haven't even ran up. Super excited here. So, um, I guess a little bit of word of advice too. Um, when you change out the tip sizes on or stack sizes on your truck, it'll change the, the pitch that comes out. Oh, a fucking cord is duh. But, um, so like I ran a five inch exhaust uh, when I had my 24 valve, which is the one that was hydro dip. Now we kind of kept it because for the lulls later on. But it was kind of like a higher pitch wine. And then, um, 
when we put the eight inch tip on there, it made it like a deeper, a deeper drone, like a deep, I wouldn't say a drone, but like a growl. And when we put that five inch tip, we just sat it on top of that piece of flex pipe. Um, it also changed up the sound. And I've drove, I drove the truck around like last night, today, like with the flex pipe and no stack. And it was just so quiet and it felt weird because, you know, most of the time, I mean, the blue truck has a stack. So it was really weird um, driving around with like no stack. Like right in the cab, I was like, oh, bro, this is so quiet. I don't even know what to do with myself right now. It's kind of like twiddling on my thumbs. So yeah, so I'm gonna go get a tarp now and uh, lay up under there and see what the hell I can get going on. Cause as you can tell, it's like a a bright and sunny day, like a crisp 85 degrees here in South Alabama. Oh, fuck. oh my God, bro, I, I fall on camera. That'd be so funny. I'd be so mad. My neighbor, my neighbor just got home from work. We really out here punching the time clock for. For the man, we working for the man out here. Fuck the man. Okay, I need to go find a tarp now, boys. We got it mocked up, but oh fuck, oh fuck this line. Whoever said flex pipe is flexible, y'all some motherfucking liars. That shit ain't flexible at all. It's like me trying to do a damn foot. It ain't happening. I gotta find my keys. I go in and find my keys. Okay, boys, this is the first crank. So I set you guys up on tripod. Uh, will it do justice? I don't even know what it's gonna sound like because nothing's like even sewed up yet. This bitch ain't bolted in the bed. I just had the flex pipe in it. And goddamn. Bro, I would not want to do exhaust work for a living, so. Let's do honest thoughts crank up what it sounds like the echo the idle like i said um the bigger the exhaust tip the deeper the tone it becomes and that shit sounds fucking mean uh, am i happy with it yeah i was a little upset at first not gonna lie because it came in and it was so big i was like bro i don't know if i want to run something this big um it just i thought it would look like really ridiculous like in the bed and everything but i really think it looks good in the truck uh, especially like me going with the all black look and I specifically requested him uh, I knew he was gonna put his logo on it. That's fine with me uh, But I want that bitch black like everything on this truck is black uh, as, I said, as I said, don't put no crazy ass color for your your emblem. I'll take that shit off in a heartbeat uh, But it, since it is black, I'll leave it on uh, Thoughts I'm really happy. I need to get a third brake light because I mean I, I obviously did all all the other lights and I really need to redo this one. Uh, so I guess the final thing is um, I need to bolt up everything at this point. I need to get everything secured and then uh, we'll go for a drive after that and I need to charge my phone because I didn't charge it last night. So yeet! Oh, and if you guys ever want to start making a YouTube channel because people always ask me, uh, literally just start with your phone. Um, if you think it's going to be low quality or if you care what people think about what you're going to say, if you think about like, their opinion, then you don't need to do it because at the end of the day, it's, it's what makes you happy and this makes me happy. Um, Kind of upset about these lights because they're getting they're getting water in them like humidity that's not cool and i know they're like uh like a hundred dollars off like uh amazon and these bitches might be going back because they're still like in their 90 day return policy so these hoes might be headed back to the damn shop i don't know uh yeah i ain't quit fucking rambling around because i'm running out of daylight and then yeah uh next time you'll see me is either i pissed off and I, something happened really bad or we're driving so let's find out Alright guys, uh, finished it up super late last night, some things come up, but there it is. She's all bolted in now. Um, there's like four bolt holes, and I did, uh, I did three of the four. I didn't do the back one, because it's kind of really hard to get to. I'm going to hold it in, because nobody's going to be snatching on the damn thing. Um, <coughs> I need to finish up the exhaust on it, also. Uh... It's, it's just like the flex pipe is just kind of like in there right now. Like it's not like sealed off. So it's like a, it goes from three inch to four inch. So yeah, it definitely needs to fix. I need to fix that later this week. I'm working on the, working on getting the parts in now. So I was hoping that hole that was already there would work with it. And it did. Um, it's pretty easy to install. Uh, but that damn flex pipe, that shit was not flexing. I'd like kick that shit in. And you could also like go buy like some 90 degrees and like some, some reducers and you know, I guess pieces of transfer pipe, um, but I didn't, and I'm not doing the drive along in this video. I'll make it like later this week or in the next week uh, with a new stack, uh, because right now it's like a, it's like rattling around in there, and I'm waiting on the parts to come in. I had to order the part off Amazon, 
<clears throat> um, it was just like more convenient for me, and plus, uh, I'm I'm finna leave here soon, and yeah, uh, all in all, I'm I'm very happy with it. It looks it looks really nice back there. Uh, it definitely took up a little bit more field division than I expected, but then again, I was like, damn boy, this is a big pipe. It's finna take up some fucking room back here. Uh, yeah. I'm happy. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, if you have any questions about doing this shit, I guess just leave it in the comment and I'll try to answer as best as I can. Uh, I've had a few comments about the Rhino Liner and stuff like that, how to do it. And you know, uh, you learn from other people's mistakes. And I guess my mistake would be uh, I didn't have all the necessary piping and hardware for uh, running the exhaust. But at the end of the day, right now I'm happy with it. Um, it'll get me by and it looks fucking fantastic, to be honest with you. I, I like it. I, per I really do. Uh, I don't know. I'm happy. Uh, thank you guys for watching. 